My name is Yanis Stanopoulos, and I fled Australia. I was forced to flee due to the dystopic nature of the totalitarian Australian government. In Australia, every single day, every citizen is strapped down by government goons and forced to take something called a pinger. Now, the word pinger comes from the word rape, specifically the word raping. The government took the last part of that word, ping, and they added an A to it to describe their drug. They want you to think that when you are taking the drug, it is the equivalent of rape. They want to traumatize you every single day to keep you in line so that you work the fields. In Australia, everyone is forced to work the fields. Every single day, you have to work the fields. They even import people on something they call a working holiday visa to trick foreigners to come to the country to work the fields alongside you. They give them pingers too. In Australia, they edit every single sporting event, every single match of the national, the national sports teams to make it look like they won by the most improbable margins imaginable. They tell you that the Queen is a supernatural entity who completed an entire golf course with nothing but hole-in-ones. I am proud to have defected from Australia and its totalitarian dictatorship. I am very happy now to be in the East, to be living in the liberatory communist nation of Argentina, which has grac graciously taken me in and given me true freedom. The Australian government regularly sends assassins after me. Every single day, I have to be on my guard. Just today, I took out eight different Australian government assassins that they sent after me. They have already killed all 87 of my family members, every single one of them, in retaliation for my defection. When you turn on the news in Australia, you are bombarded by nothing but pro-government propaganda. Every single channel is owned by one man who receives lavicious benefits from the government to, to indoctrinate the population on their behalf. His name is Rupert Murdoch. He is the true power behind the, the totalitarian dictatorship of Australia. It is disgusting to see countries like the USA and UK breach the sanctions that good communist countries put on the evil totalitarian, totalitarian dictatorship of Australia and allow Rupert Murdoch, this evil, evil totalitarian mind controller, to freely move between their countries. If they truly wanted to defend democracy and freedom for defectors like myself from the evil Australian totalitarian dictatorship which enslaves his entire population with pingers, they would imprison him, take every single thing that he owns and distribute it to us. I am here to tell the truth about Australia. I am an Australian defector. Everything that you see on the internet, the positive image about Australia, even purported Australians telling you positive things about it, it's all fake. It's all an elaborate setup by the Australian government and their allies to make you forget about the pinger enslavement of the entire population. And I must say my piece because I fear that soon the assassins will finally succeed in taking me out. Lately, their methods have not been great because in g generic Australian government fashion, they, they tend to try to set up anti-aircraft guns on street corners and wait for me. Because for some reason, they just love executing people with anti-aircraft guns. I wouldn't lie to you. I wouldn't just make stuff up. No. Us defectors have triumphed over adversity. We would never just make stuff up that is increasingly stupid in order to make money from bombastic headlines in newspapers that pay us for them. We would never do that. They actually do set up anti-aircraft guns on street corners and just patiently wait for me to walk by. That really happens. Once they even parked a plane outside my house, patiently waiting for me to come out so they could put me into the plane and um, drop me from it. Luckily, I saw the plane at the last moment and I managed to avoid it. But one day they might get me. You never know. One day they might. So I must say my piece on the Australian pinger dictatorship. Please diffuse this video to make sure the truth about Australia is known. And please make sure to subscribe and send me money on all of these things. I'm definitely not just saying this to make money. Everything I'm saying here is 100% true and honest. I am not trying to cater to an audience that are used to these sorts of claims that are, um, are bombastic and made up and created in order to, to dehumanize a, a country that has long been a geopolitical enemy of the West. Thank you.